This video is about herbs that benefit your brain health. Um, I'm going to go over um, a lot of these options in today's video. And because there are so many, um, I'm going to do this video into two separate parts. Um, so this is part one. And the supplements and herbs for your brain health can help in a lot of different ways. Uh, they can assist you with your mental health. Uh, they can improve your concentration and focus. Um, improve your memory, both short and long term, and also um, help to stave off um, Alzheimer's disease. And there have been studies that have shown that some of these herbs can even assist people that already have Alzheimer's disease or dementia. I'm Barbara with the Alternative Health and Beauty channel, where being healthy is beautiful. Uh, welcome back to my beautiful subscribers. Um, if you are new to this channel, please go ahead and hit subscribe so you'll be alerted to new videos as they come out. The first herb I'm going to go over is ashwagandha. And ashwagandha reduces um, oxidative stress in your brain. It's an herb and as well as an adaptogen in what the class of um, substances or adaptogens mean is that they just help your body and your brain adapt to stress. Ashwagandha boosts your brain function. It can lower your cortisol levels. Uh, it helps with your memory. Um, ashwagandha for depression has been very beneficial to um, hundreds of thousands of people and it's just good for your mental clarity as well. The second herb I wanna go over today is ginkgo biloba, or most people just refer to it as ginkgo. Ginkgo can increase the blood flow to your brain. It's good for your focus and your memory, um, specifically for um, elderly people that are having some problems with their short-term memory loss. Uh, it's also good for any kind of age-related cognitive decline, including dementia. Um, ginkgo biloba improves your cognitive function overall. It's been used by so many people for a long time. However, there's still some ongoing studies, and I, I'm really looking forward to finding the results in those. Um, Rhodola rosea, if I'm pronouncing this right, is um, not so well known of an herb, but it is an adaptogen and it's been very effective for reducing fatigue and improving your brain function. And one of the reasons I wanted to do this series of videos is because 60% um, of Americans suffer from some kind of um, cognitive dysfunction or decline and the research has really proven this and I would think it was similar for most of the Western world so we need our brains we only have one and um, you know the saying goes without your help you have nothing uh, but without your brain I mean you really have nothing uh, the third on our list today is Gato Cola um, that shows some promise with Alzheimer's disease, um, also your blood circulation, um, which is very good for your brain health um, and your memory. There are a group of Ayurvedic herbs that um, some Westerners are not still very familiar with. Um, it, they've been used in India for hundreds or thousands of years, and I'm just going to go over some of the top ones. Um, vodka is good for your concentration, your mental sluggishness, and it also detoxifies your brain. Tagara is good for calming, and it's similar to maybe chamomile that Westerners take more frequently. Tulsi is good for your overall well-being, your neural cognition. Um, it improves circulation and it oxygenates your brain. So that's just very helpful. The circulating and getting oxygen to your brain is what's going to make it very healthy. Baca Manera improves your function, um, your um, information functioning, improves your memory. Um, it's good for elderly people. Um, one thing I did want to mention though, this really needs to be taken consistently. It's not something that you can just take the day of a test or once or twice a month um, to get results. Um, it's something that you need to take for, I would say at every day for at least a month to get the really good results from that. Um, oat straw extract is good for cognitive functioning, stress, and um, helps to allevi alleviate some of the symptoms of depression. 
Cat's Claw is good for anxiety. Um, it's been used very well for that, but a lot of the studies have been inconclusive, so they do need to do some more studies um, on that. Um, there's different formulas put together that combine some of these um, brain um, enhancing supplements and herbs and there's a lot of different um, name brands out there i'll go over that in another video um, i mean i personally pick and choose which supplements i want to take but one nice thing about taking these combined formulas is that you are going to get a good ratio of these herbs in relation to one another um, Eleuthera root, or is often known as Siberian ginseng, is really one of my favorites. Um, it's great for memory and concentration. And I'm going to put a link below in the description for a video that I did specifically on Eleuthera root. Um, it's, it's just one of those things that um, give you instant results, and I really wouldn't want to be without it. Medicinal mushrooms for depression um, have shown just a lot of great promise. Uh, medicinal mushrooms are good for your uh, memory, your overall cognitive function, for um, focus, and one of my favorites are chaga mushrooms, and I will also put a link to a video that I made regarding chaga medicinal mushrooms in the description area below, and you can take a look at that whenever you have a moment. Um, a popular term that a lot of people hear right now is nootropics. Um, nootropics for focus um, is, is very commonly used and these substances basically, they enhance your brain health, um, they're good for memory, motivation, uh, for your creativity, and everyone wants to be more creative, um, for your alertness, and just for um, general cognitive function and um, it helps eliminate mental fatigue. Most of the substances and herbs that I'm talking about in this video do happen to be nootropics. So uh, nootropics is just a category that a lot of these herbs and substances fall under. Um, several of the items that I mentioned are also adaptogens, which again just helps your body and your brain adapt to stress. So um, you know, I just wanted to explain the classifications just so it doesn't confuse you. Um, another term that uh, is used a lot more, re more recently and frequently is biohacking. Um, biohacking for brain health or biohacking for brain fog um, just does exactly what it's saying. It, it increases your mental alertness. And um, in addition to taking herbs and substances specifically for biohacking, um, you can take um, just a... a a cumulative approach to your diet and your healthy lifestyle. Um, biohacking includes exercise, um, getting rest, um, some essential oils. Um, rosemary is excellent for your clarity of mind and emotion. Um, peppermint is very stimulating um, and it helps you with your energy and your creativity and I, I love the smell. I always have um, a peppermint essential oil with me. Uh, basil helps um, boost mental fatigue and clarifies um, your thinking and just helps you with your focus. So those are some biohacking methods that I would recommend trying, at least a couple of them. Um, if you have any questions about anything I've gone over so far, um, please feel free to write it in the comment section. Um, the reason I'm doing these videos is to help you. So if you let me know, you know, what areas or information that you want more assistance with, I, I'm really happy uh, to take care of that for you. Uh, the um, things that I'm talking about now are really just scratching the surface. Um, one other item that I do want to mention um, is, um, I'll try to say this right, S. Adenosyl methothion. Um, it's really referred to more commonly as SAM E, S A M capital, and then a small e. And this is good for depression, and it's sometimes used instead of antidepressants. Um, one thing, though, I do want to mention is that um, I'm all for natural ways to improve our brain health and our cognitive function. Um, 
However, uh, it's beyond the scope of these videos to um, diagnose and, and treat an individual specific depression. So if you're under a doctor's care and they recommend you to take antidepressants, please don't just stop doing um, or using those or doing what the doctor says um, because you're gonna try some of these other um, methods. These are um, to be used in addition to anything that a, a medical provider um, is sharing with you. Um, Thanks for watching this video and um, Herbs for Brain Health number two will be coming out very soon.